Today I um, disassembled a DVD burner and uh, pulled the diode out, the, the DVD diode, which is a red laser. Here's some um, part of the laser assembly. And uh, there would have been two diodes here and there and shot into that cube uh, which would combine the uh, two different laser wavelengths into one beam. They wouldn't use them at the same time, but um, it would direct both beams to, into the same direction and uh, go through the optics there. But I, uh, I pulled the diode out and I found a lens from an old video camera that focused the beam properly and I uh, lit the uh, laser while the glue was drying so I could properly align it and I got as close as I could. Yeah, this is my first homemade laser. It gets very bright. I don't have safety glasses yet so I don't uh, turn it up too high. Definitely don't want to look at it. Make sure everyone in the room looks away while you turn it on and um, because I have no heat sink or any way to cool it I only run it for a few seconds at a time but it gets very bright okay so um, I'm gonna connect it to my power supply and uh, slowly bring it up to around 5 to 7 volts I have a 470 ohm uh, one half watt resistor to limit the current. All right, I'm gonna turn it up. Pulling uh, 200 milliamps right there, 300 milliamps. All right, and then I uh, shut it off quickly because um, it's not cooled very well. I don't want that glue to heat up and uh, the diode getting disaligned from the lens. Here we have uh, 15 volts, 0.3 amps.